While Facebook has faced challenges in dealing with user privacy concerns, Stone told me that Twitter has been upfront with its users. Everything they do is public. Almost all of the um, accounts on Twitter are public. So all of the tweets are created with the understanding that they're going out there into the world, that they're going to end up on search engines, that they're going to you know, end up potentially on, on TV. Uh, they're very public. In fact, the Library of Congress is going to mm -hmm. be archiving all the tweets. So uh, there's a lot of stuff uh, that we can do with these tweets. We can, we can look through them to see what the uh, most popular words or phrases are this minute in San Francisco or in New York City or in Sao Paulo. We can see what's on people's minds in those areas. We can also syndicate out all this data uh, so that we can provide it to companies like Google and Bing who then create their own user experiences on all these tweets to help people uh, you know, s discover more relevant information. With that, it, the extension would seem to be searchability yeah. or a Google. Well, we're actually partnering with Google already, very tightly. Um, they're, they're, you know, they're going to be archiving all the tweets. They're going to, they provide a great search, and we have an actual partnership with them to syndicate our data to them, mm -hmm. and and that's the way we like to work right now. Um, so yeah, the, but definitely culturally, we've actually taken a lot of. Um, a lot of cues and a lot of pages out of their book in, in building Twitter. And we've been focusing these three years on, on growing the service, on making it reliable, and on really and making it valuable. And what we haven't done is built a business on top of this. And so that's kind of the, the second part. We really need to finish what we started, which is why we're so interested in, in, in continuing to do this ourselves. When we spoke to Evan Williams a few months ago, uh, one of your co-founders, yep. partner here, he was talking about um, really the first scalable revenue source yes. coming from uh, how you allow advertisement within tweets. Right. And there was the choice to block third parties. Why? Well, the promoted tweets platform is probably what he was talking about, yes. and that's the idea that um, any 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 company can get a tweet uh, seen by a lot more users if they use our promoted tweets platform. The the key thing there is it's always important for us to provide uh, a really good user experience, and. We're going to open up the promoted tweets platform so developers can split the profits with us 50-50. But we need to make sure, just like we made sure that the, the service and the company itself was valuable over the last three years, we need to make sure that we build this promoted tweets platform right from the beginning and that there isn't any spam and there isn't any confusion around uh, what exactly a promoted tweet is. So in that regard, we decided that we should really sort of own the way that this works and then syndicate it out. I spoke to Biz at the World Innovation Forum here in Manhattan, and he told me that the amazing growth trajectory of a young company like Twitter can be scary. He says he fears an early burnout, much like child actors, but he personally hopes to be more like Ron Howard.